So what is going on guys? It's Anna. It is December 17th, which is a Tuesday. It is now 1.51 p.m. And I have just been all over the place today. Just... But one of the places I went to was my center. And I picked up my food haul. As you can see, it looks like I have a lot of boxes over there. But I don't. They each have like one or two of them in there. So I picked up new food last me for a while so I'm gonna show you what I got and then um, I don't know we'll see how this video goes I'm I'm really liking my hair color as it is right now it's like a fiery orange red I like it anyway so let me show you what I got Dun -da -da. so crackers I have I think three boxes of crackers this time uh, apple cinnamon oatmeal. I thought I'd try something different. The peanut butter chocolate chip chewy bars. I got these last time and um, I still didn't like them. But um, they held me over longer than the um, cookie dough ones. So I thought, well, might as well get them since they're a nice haul over thing. A single cookie dough chewy bar that I took as a sample. Um, vanilla pudding. Uh, so I have these packets over here. I don't know if you can see them in this corner. Right, right here. I have packets of food. They're just single packets. Um, I have them left over. They're foods for me to try. I never tried them before or I have. I don't know why I still have them. But um, last night I was looking through my packets and I saw I had a vanilla pudding and if you know me you know I told you this uh, tastes like cake batter to me when I make it into a frosty just adding water and ice and for some reason I have the weird taste sensation that it's cake batter because I'm a goofball but anyway so I missed it so I got a whole another box and I added um, uh, a tablespoon of Walden's Farm chocolate syrup last night to it. Oh, it wasn't really, it was a tablespoon, but I made it into three teaspoons because three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. And I slowly, gradually added to it. It was ugh, delicious. And now I picked up a box of the Ziti Marinara. Mm. Everyone has been raving about this. I'm probably the only one who doesn't like it. So I thought I'd give it another shot. So I got a box of it. Hopefully, it doesn't disappoint me again. Don't eat this when it's cold, y'all. It's gross. It's butt nasty. So I thought I'd show you this bag. Dun, da, 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 da. Dun, da, da. Okay, so bag one is complete. Moving on to bag two. Boom! Bag two. Here are my other two boxes of crackers. Um, I have stopped eating boxes upon boxes of crackers. I have found self-control once again with the crackers. I've also come to realize if I eat two or three boxes of these in one day, so I have a very horrific, painful, allergic reaction in my mouth. So that has also stopped me from making me eat the crackers all the time. I have to be in pain to stop doing something. Is what I've come to the conclusion. I did that Cool Whip and now I'm doing it with the crackers and Eventually, I'll find something else to do. I wasn't planning on getting three boxes of crackers. I was planning on getting two boxes of crackers and one box of the apple cinnamon soy crisp. But Kay will not order the apple cinnamon soy crisp yet. So I have to wait. So, anyway, I got my digestive health pills. Out of all the pills that Metafast offers, these are the ones I will actually pay money for from Metafast to have because they make me poop. And when Anna poops, Anna's happy. So poop pills is what I call them. I know you guys are like, oh, I don't need that information. Well, you know it now. And I got two caramel crunches. Um, last time I bought these at the center, Kay was wondering why I was getting caramel crunch because apparently no one likes caramel crunch. Um, I didn't... I didn't realize that 
the certain things that on Metafast for the 5 and 1 that you were trying to stay away from was uh, have over 70% of protein, less than 30 grams of fat, and 100 carbs or less a day is really what the 5 and 1 program is. Also between 800 and 1,000 calories. So when I was overeating with my crackers and stuff, I wasn't counting the carbs. I was seriously only looking at the calories because I thought that's what the whole thing was with Metafast was the calories. And as I have been learning through hanging out more on the Metafast forums, is that it's really the carbs you need to watch out for. So these have 12 grams of carbs, which is one of the lowest actual meals you can get. The snacks have the really the lowest ones of the carb count, but you can only have one a day. Except for these crackers. These crackers have 12. So, anyway, that's why I got these. I also like them. I mean, they're nice, chewy bars. So, that's my reason. Do -do -do. Okay, let's see. And I have the cookie dough chewy bar. My favorite. I will eat a whole box of these in one day. And chocolate pudding! Whoop, whoop. I missed this. I missed my Frosties. So that was in bag number two. I'll put my crackers in here. And my caramel crunches. Oh, what? Bag two is complete. Let's go to bag three. Bag three. My last bag. So I got the cinnamon pretzel sticks. At first I thought we didn't have any of these because I couldn't find them. They were completely, you know, like up on a different shelf. But... I found them, so I got cinnamon, and then I got, what is this, cereal, then I got the pizza bites, what, then I got the chocolate mint crunch bars, and some more crunch bars, choop, 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 choop. and so that is literally all of bag three, is the big, big boxes, big stuff, um, what have I learned? Actually, um, besides the caramel crunch bars, the pizza bites also have very low carbs. For us, they actually have 11, which is, again, one of the less, most less carb meals that they offer. Um, so if I'm feeling incredibly fat, I'll probably eat those. Um, but I love the pizza bites. Are you kidding me? They're like Cheetos. They're like, that's what I call them, the Metafast Cheetos, because they eat the orange stuff. When, anyway, and a lot of people ask me what they taste like. They taste, to me, they taste like the Bagel Bites, um, what is it, pepperoni? That's how I would describe them. That's how they taste. And so I got one, two, wait, there's five in here. And then there's one, two, three, four, and there. So nine. 10, 11, 12. So I got 12, 12 meals so far and three snacks. But I also, I know you guys missed it. Let's see if I can lift it up. Oh, I got a case of shakes. So how many meals did I say I have? 12. So I have 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 meals. So 15 boxes plus three snacks and box plus. So I did really good. Um, this is all, this was, I think, 256 total. Because if you hit 250, you get four free meals or four free boxes. They don't have to actually be meals. They can be four free snacks, which I thought was pretty stupid. So I got the meals. But anyway, so here's a cool thing. So I looked on the Metafast website last night to figure out how I wanted to do shakes because... I miss shakes. I'm not trying to drink all of them. Uh, as you guys have known for the last like three months, all I've been doing is really just drinking these shakes and not really sticking to their hard foods. So I've been trying just to lose weight, lose weight, lose weight, lose weight. And sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't. And then I just overate stuff. And so I, I stopped doing it. So like these last two and a half weeks, I haven't had any shakes. So I thought I'd get some, not a lot. I actually mixed them up. I have 12 vanilla and 12 chocolate in here because I didn't want to buy two cases of each. So I thought, 
what the hell, I'll ask if I can do it, and I can. And doing this through my center was actually cheaper than buying 12 individual packages or 12 individual shakes off of Metafast. It was like $88 just for 24 of these, which was 66 in a case, which is 24 and I thought, well, that's stupid. So I texted Kay and asked her, and she said, yeah, sure, whatever, you do that. So that's what I did. And, bum ba -da -da. So, I've been at 141 now for two weeks. Or, well, I had gained that three pounds and I lost it, but we all knew I was gonna lose pounds. It's, it's like every time I gain more than a pound, if it's like two or three pounds, I'm gonna lose it that week. It doesn't stick to my body because I'm fabulous and I work my ass off. Anyway, so I've been at 141 now for two weeks, maybe three. I don't really remember. Two or three weeks. It's how it usually goes when I hit the ones. I'm calling them the, the devil ones because it's now happened to me every time I've hit a one. It happened to me at 161. 151 and 141 so it's probably gonna happen to me at 131 so they're the devil ones is what I'm calling them but um so yeah I know a lot of people have been asking me because I posted a picture uh, for the churros or the metafast churros is what I call them it's when you use um, a packet of crackers and um, you put them on a safe plate a microwave safe plate or a bowl or you can use one of those bowls down there as you see that you get with your uh, brownies or your cookie dough or what's the other one blueberry muffin I don't know if they come with anything else do they come with a ZD? I don't know we'll find out eventually but you can use one of those microwave bowls and um, you're supposed to spray it five times with uh, Pam the butter pan I mean the butter Pam you have any idea what I'm talking about? Uh, the, you know how you have the cooking spray called Pam? They have a butter flavored one. And you're supposed to spray these uh, five five sprays. Uh, but if you keep it in one of those white bowls right there, it's really like one to two sprays is all you really need. And then you use a packet of Splenda and then you know you measure out your cinnamon that you want. I usually use like one eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I don't even usually use a whole packet of Splenda. I usually use like half of it. And then you microwave it for 20 seconds. So they're they're a little warm and thingies. And it tastes like churros to me. Then again, Anna has weird taste buds. Because she thinks the, the vanilla pudding is cake batter. So I don't know if you're going to trust me on that judgment. I also was talking to Janelle, my my counselor that's probably going to be with me now since Kay's leaving about um, all these different foods I wanted to try or if I could have it because we were talking about my duck because I made duck and we were discussing like how much I was allowed to have of it and I was saying duck's leanest and that's what Kay said and it's actually a lean you're only supposed to have five ounces but don't worry I only had five ounces so anyway so we were talking about that and she gave me a sheet that had all these different types of animals that you could eat and if you know me I've eaten some really weird things I've had antelope kangaroo other things I don't I don't remember elk venison just just weird things I find at grocery store so I told her I wanted to try alligator alligators on the list it's leanest you know so I announced the vet I'm gonna try to find alligator meat because that sounds really interesting to try I was also talking about um, squid. Could we have squid? And I was like, wait a minute, we can, because it said on the list. And she's like, well, calamar. I don't know. We were talking about calamar, and I was like, I wish I could have squid. And she's like, Anna, squid is calamar. And I was like, no, I mean like fried calamar. And she's like, you're not supposed to have anything fried. And I was like, I know, I'm on Metafast. This sucks. Meh. Anyway, so then, ding dong, Anna came up with an idea. How cool would it be to, you know, find baby squid or whatever or squid and just cut it up and then get a packet of the crackers and smush them until it's like a fine powdery dust and then get like I don't know two tablespoons of egg 
liquid egg whites or whatever you want to use and mix them together and bread them and then in a small frying pan you put your one tablespoon of olive oil in there and fry it and make calamari I was so excited I was like what did Anna come up with this and I did so Anna might be coming up with calamari eventually because I miss calamari and god doesn't that sound exciting some of your people are probably like, Anna, that sounds incredibly gross. What's wrong with you? You're talking to the person who wants to try alligator and rattlesnake and this other weird one. Oh my god. It's on Amazon. There's this little little animal set of food that I want to try so badly. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, right, here it is. It's rattlesnake, alligator, buffalo, and elk. Exotic gourmet meat box. It's $50. I'm so tempted to buy it. But I won't because I have self-control. I am learning self-control. I also passed all my classes this semester with all A's. 4.0 GPA. What, 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 whoop, whoop, whoop. Anyway, so that's it. That's all I got today. As you can see, I'm all over the place. I'm excited. I've been up since 5 a.m. I've worked out. My dad even worked out with me. I've had people work out with me today. I've been waking up. I only have two meals left. Two meals. It's only 2.07 now. I had tilapia for lunch, by the way. Oh, wait. Now I'm leaving. <gasps> Goodbye. Bye bye bye, my favorite metafasters. Goodbye. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. It's way on Wednesday. Oh, I hope I don't gain weight. I hope I lose it. <gasps> my womanhood came back yesterday. I'm so excited. Alright, now I'm leaving. Alright, goodbye, bye-bye, bye-bye, bye. -bye, bye, -bye.